I'll use this slab as a simple example. Say I wanted timber decking. There's two ways I could approach that with ArchiCAD. If I wanted a simple rendering of this material, I could just apply a surface texture. So if I open the settings, I could pick something like wood deck. And that's okay, but it's not very convincing. Even if we had a, a better texture, it's not going to contribute anything to my sections or details, where it will look like pretty much any other slab. So I'll undo that for now. Alternatively, I could model the decking by making a profile for the boards, multiplying them across the slab, and trimming them to match the shape of the slab. I'm not going to demonstrate that because it takes a while and that's the main disadvantage of it. And of course if the design changes you're going to have to redo the whole process all over again. Uh, but with coverings you can get the best of both approaches. First it's really quick. It can be much quicker than messing around with surfaces and texture images. If you've ever tried to do that to make a really convincing presentation rendering, you'll know exactly what I mean. All I need to do is to select the slab and click CAD image, coverings, and slab coverings. I've got a couple of options for the type of covering I could apply. So we've got a precast slab with a number of different common profile types. And we've got the CAD image decking, which is the option that I want in this case. And you can see I've got a wide variety of options here. So I have two different profiles, for example, a flat or reeded. I'll go for the reeded in this case. And I can choose square grooves or rounded. I think I'll stick with the square. And I'll put a 5mm spacing between my boards. And I can pick a relevant surface. I'll just go for uh, wood. And some suitable pens. I have just a black outline. And when I click OK, the covering is applied to the slab. Now I have a representation that was really quick to make and looks great in renderings and construction documents right down to the detail level. So if I click on that and isolate it, We can see that this is a full model element that will contribute to all my construction documentation. And better still, it handles design changes automatically. So if I reshape my slab, We can see that as I make these changes, the covering is automatically responding. So I get good visualization and a better BIM project with a minimum of effort.